Rolando Roly Romero weighed in yesterday. He looked drained. He act like he was drained. And he said no more 140 pounds. He wants to move up to 147. We're going to talk about it in this video. But before we do that, make sure that you just hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a sub to the channel. So tonight, in a few hours, we got Roly Romero facing a 60-year-old fighter. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Dude look like he's 60-something years old, but Rolly Romero gets to face him because the original opponent, Alberto Puglio, he got popped for PEDs. So Rolly Romero, he gets to face a 60-year-old man for the WBA strap. And Rolly, he finds himself in the best positions all the time. Remember when Rolly first got the WBA strap at 135? So Rolly always finds himself in great positions to get title shots that he seemingly don't deserve. Like Rolly ain't never even fought at 140 pounds, but he getting a fight for a title shot. So Floyd Mayweather, Leonard Ellaby, and the ones that's backing Rolly, they always look out for him. Even though Rolly Romero is not a TMT fighter, they always look out for him. Rolly, recently, he weighed in yesterday, and after his weigh-ins, he did an interview, and he was talking about how hard it is for him to make 140 pounds. We already knew it was very hard for Rolly to make 135. He said it's not as hard as it was for him to make 135 pounds, but he says it's still hard for him to make 140, and he says he's sick of it. He moving up to 147. He says the only way that he fights again, even after he win this title, and he said the only way he fights at 140 pounds again is if he has a big, huge, mega fight on pay-per-view. Other than that, he wants to move up to 140. 47 because he said 140 ain't it the weight cut ain't it and i'm looking at roly and he just looked drained you know what i'm saying he looked drained all in the face and i don't know what he's doing i don't know if he has a nutritionist i don't know if he's just trying to cut weight at the last minute and cutting weight wrong but hey man he looked drained and he better not let this 60 year old man go out and beat his ass tonight because if he do that, Roly might as well go ahead and hide in a cave somewhere and don't never come out. Because all the shit that he talk, people going to be on his helmet. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I see reports of uh, surfaces saying, confirm, Roly Romero versus Ryan Garcia. And I know that's a lie because Ryan Garcia said that he got a whole lot of things to think about. Ryan Garcia then fired his coach. And Ryan Garcia don't even know what's next for himself. So, them reports, and y'all know who y'all is, coming out talking about Roly Romero and Ryan Garcia next confirmed is a lie. You know what I'm talking about? We don't even know if Rolly Romero going to beat this 60-year-old man. Because if Rolly Romero go out there tonight and he get knocked out by that 60-year-old man, like I said, it ain't going to be no more Rolando Rolly Romero. I don't know what he going to do if he lose to this 60-year-old man. But... It is what it is, man. Um, looking at Roly at the at the way in, and then after he did his interview, his face was sunk in. You can see his bones in his face, and he just didn't look right. And Roly, he walks around big. You know, Roly walks around very big. He walks around at like 180 something, 190 pounds. That's bigger than Errol Spence. Now, Roly is not taller than Errol Spence, but he walk around at a bigger weight than Errol Spence do. So, Roly having to cut all the way down to 135 and 140, it got to be killing him. You know what I'm talking about? It got to be killing him. Now, he talking about going up to 147. He definitely don't want to do that. He don't want to mess with them killers at 147 pounds because those dudes are naturally, you know, bigger men. They just naturally bigger. And when he feel their power, he going to sleep sleep. We already seen Roly go to sleep by Javante Tank Davis. We also see him go to sleep in sparring. He was sparring a younger cat, and that dude put him to sleep, put him on the canvas. So, Roly definitely don't want to go to 147. You know, uh, I don't know if he's lazy or what it is with him, but, hey, he needs to just get a great nutritionist. I'm not going to say he needs to train harder. I'm not in his training camp, but he ain't doing something right. He better do everything he can to continue to stay at 140 pounds if he gets this victory tonight. So he don't have to move up. Because that man move up, it's going to get real, real ugly for him. 
It's gonna get ugly like Seal and Precious had a baby ugly. We just gonna have to hold off and see what happens tonight. We gonna see if Roly Romero gets past this 60 year old man tonight. And then we gonna see where he goes from there. If he gets a Ron Garcia fight, that'll be great. But I don't see that happening. You know, Roly, he does business with the PBC, you know, and Ryan Garcia is with Golden Boy. And I don't think that they looking to put Ryan Garcia in the ring with Roly, who is a dangerous puncher. And I don't think that PBC is looking to put Roly in the ring with Ryan Garcia. Yeah, would it be a big pay-per-view? I think it would be a big pay-per-view. But it ain't gonna be no Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia type of pay-per-view. It ain't gonna be that big. So that fight, I don't see happening no time soon. And like I said, um, Ryan Garcia, he got to figure out what he got to do. Roley, he got to get past this guy that he fighting tonight. And then we'll see what both of them do from there. Anyway, man, he looked drained. He said he was pretty much drained. And we're going to see. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Do y'all want to see Roley go up to 147? Do y'all think that Roley is eventually going to get a fight with Ryan Garcia? Do y'all think that Roley going to beat this 60-year-old man tonight? Let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment in the comment section. And y'all already know how I do. Diego talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.